What do you mean by radiation power density and radiation intensity? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term radiation power density and radiation intensity? Well, let's find out. So let us consider a particular antenna like this. This is a particular transmitting antenna. So now let us assume that this antenna is transmitting a signal onto free space like this. It is transmitting a signal onto free space. But here when I draw this on this particular whiteboard it, it looks like a two-dimensional signal but in reality this is a three-dimensional signal. That is it transmits this signal in a three-dimensional space. That is it is transmitting in a three dimensional space by this particular transmitting antenna. So now in this particular three dimensional space let us consider a particular area like this. Let us consider a three dimensional area like this. So therefore radiational power density is defined as the amount of power, the amount of power that is transmitted through this particular three dimensional area. As simple as that. That is radiational power density is defined as the amount of power that is transmitted per unit surface area by a particular transmitting antenna. So that is what you refer to as radiational power density. That is it is the amount of power that is radiated per unit surface area by an antenna. So if I consider a unit surface area over here like this, how much power is being transmitted through this particular unit surface area? That is what you refer to as radiation power density. Here radiation power density is represented by the symbol W rad and the unit is given as watts per meter squared where watts is a unit for power and meter squared is a unit for area. As simple as that. This thus is simply what you refer to as radiation power density. So now we know the radiation power density as W rad. Next we have uh, something referred to as radiation intensity. What is radiation intensity? So for that when we consider a particular circle like this. So we have a particular circle like this and now let this be the center of this particular circle and now if I remove this much portion of this particular circle and now if I join these to the center this is a two-dimensional angle. This is a normal plane angle but now here rather than considering a circle let us consider a particular sphere a three-dimensional sphere let us consider a three-dimensional sphere and now similarly let us cut this three-dimensional sphere over here like this so therefore when I cut this three-dimensional sphere over here and join all the sides of this particular three-dimensional sphere here we get a three-dimensional angle like this which is referred to as a beam solid angle. This beam solid angle somewhat looks like a cone, a conical shape. So this is a beam solid angle. So now radiation intensity is defined as the amount of power that is radiated per unit solid angle. As simple as that. It is the amount of power that is radiated per unit solid angle. That is what you refer to as radiation intensity. The unit of radiation intensity is watts per steridian because watts is the unit for power and steridian is the unit for solid angle. So now if we know the value of the radiation power density which is W rad and now if we are considering the radiation intensity at a distance of say R from the transmitting antenna then the radiation intensity is given as U is equal to W rad into R squared. This is the expression for the radiation intensity of a particular transmitting antenna. As simple as that. So therefore this is the sums of what you refer to as radiation power density and radiation intensity. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as radiation power density and radiation intensity. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about a lot more topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.